Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Duster Arena here in Beaver, Oklahoma for this matchup between the Balco Bison and the Turpin Cardinals. Turpin coming into tonight's game with a matchup of, uh, uh, tonight's matchup with a record of three wins and one loss. Balco coming in with a record of two wins and no losses. They've only played two games because, as you know, a week ago tonight they were playing in the state championship game in football. And so they're just now getting into basketball and um, as we've seen so far this season you can tell that they're bas football players trying to play basketball hopefully they work some of that out tonight because they're playing a very very good Turpin Cardinal team Turpin qualified for the second round matchup of the 2021 Beaver River Invitational by defeating Buffalo's JV squad by a final score of 68 to 16 through four games this year, Turpin has been averaging 47.8 points a game, and they're only allowing 34.3 points a game. So their, their defense has been absolutely stifling. Their only loss on the season was by Fort Supply by three two weeks ago. So this Turpin team knows how to play some basketball, and they're, they're very good at it. They're going to want to play ball control, but they're also certainly capable of running. They can put points up on the board at any time. Balco made it to the second round matchup by defeating Turpin's JV squad by a score of 48 to 29. So they got the JV squad last week. They're going to play the varsity squad tonight. Balco is averaging 48 points a game through two games. They're allowing 29 points a game. Well, but David, you just said that the final score of the other game was 48 to 20. That's because both games that Balco has played so far, the final score has been 48 to 29. The two games have been with identical stores, scores. They're still trying to find their feet in a basketball setting after football season uh, that just ended a week ago. Tonight is easily the Bison's toughest test of the season. Turpin won the last meeting between these two teams 39-38 to on January 7th, a game that came down to the last shot in the Woodward Tournament. These two schools don't particularly care for each other. The fr their friends and their community. And so it's, like, it's a friendly rivalry, but when it comes down to the court, these two teams do not like each other. And that goes both ways. I would expect this game to be very, very physical. Turpin is going to need to pressure Balco on the defensive end. They're going to have to get in people's face. They're going to have to make the Bison uncomfortable. Balco is going to have to be patient offensively because if they try and rush into 
a set that they're not ready for, they're going to end up getting burned badly. The winner of tonight's game is going to face Goodwill in the championship game tomorrow night at 720. The loser is going to face Beaver tomorrow at 440 in the bronze medal game. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and the tip-off for tonight's matchup between the Balco Bison and the Turpin Cardinals live from the Balco Bison Sports Network. You're listening to Balco Bison Basketball. Welcome back to Duster Arena here in Beaver, Oklahoma for the, tonight's matchup between the Balco Bison and the Turpin Cardinals. Again, Turpin coming into tonight's matchup with a record of three wins and one loss there, coached by Garrett Biebermeyer. So they're starting lineup for the Cardinals. Caden Moses, Bryson Parker, Jackson Henley, Aaron Resendez, and Bailey Boyd. The Bison are, or excuse me, the, the, the Cardinals are dealing with some injuries. And so they're, they're a little shorthanded, but they're still a very good and very dangerous team. The Balco Bison coming into tonight's game with a matchup of, with a record of two wins and no losses. Their starting five will be Braxton Fowler, Nathan Smith, Jaden Hall, Mason Romju, and Adam Creason. Turpin will be excuse, Turpin will be in their their road black uniforms with red lettering and white trim, uh, red and white trim, and they will be going from right to left across your screen. Balco will be in their home white jerseys with the script maroon Balco across the chest, white block numerals, and maroon trim, and they will be going from left to right. Again, the Cardinals are coached by Garrett Biebermeyer, and the Bison are coached by Jake Regeer. There's a delay in the start of action. Not sure what's going on. Everyone's kind of looking off to the other way. It's almost like they see something in the offing that, that is so spectacular to the eyes that they can't keep that they can't keep their eyes off. I'm looking over. I don't see anything. I'm trying to I'm I'm trying to see I'm trying to see what's going on. Oh, they're doing the starting lineups. <laughs> and the, the public address announcer is up directly across from me in the upper bowl. So he'll be the um so it's it's the beaver it's the Beaver radio voice that's doing the public address, and he's doing it, again, from the upper mezzanine on the far side, directly across from where we're standing. So they're doing in-arena lineups right now. So we'll take a quick break. When we come back, we will have the start of this matchup. Balco Bison Basketball will continue in just a moment. Welcome back to Beaver Arena. It is time for tip-off here in Beaver, Oklahoma. Second round matchup of the 2021 Beaver River Invitational. Jaden Hall to jump for the Bison and Bailey Boyd to jump for the Cardinals. Cardinals again in their road black with the script Turpin across the chest going from right to left. Balco in the home white with the script Balco across the chest and they're going left to right. Ball's in the air. We're underway. Control tip by the Cardinals. And Resendez will walk it slowly across the timeline. Checking with Coach Biebermeyer for the play right off the bat, being guarded near the timeline by Nathan Smith. Circling around, long outlet is deflected by Hall and stolen by Smith. Turnover on the first possession for the Cardinals. Come back the other way now is Braxton Fowler as he'll walk it across the timeline diagonally going toward the far side. Pass over to Romju on the far side now to Adam Kreese and cross-court pass to Fowler is too tall. 
Pass goes to Coach Biebermeyer. Unfortunately, he is not playing in this game and cannot catch that pass. It is now Turpin basketball. 25 seconds into the game, each team has a turnover, and that'll probably be it. That'll be all the turnovers we'll have for the rest of the game. It's going to be an incredible game. This actually should be a very good game. Uh, like I said, Turpin will be far and away the best opponent that the Bison will have seen up to this point. Resendez passes over to Moses. Caden Moses has the ball deflected by Fowler. Now pass over to Resendez on the near side. Resendez now to the top of the key. Bailey Boyd, three-point shot is off the front iron. No good. Rebound bounces, picked up by Jaden Hall. Bison wanting to run. But they'll slow down because Turpin got back defensively. Nathan Smith has the ball deflected out of bounds by Resendez. It will be Balco basketball. They will inbound on the baseline. On the baseline next to the Turpin bench. 7-12 to go here in the first quarter. So we're just a few seconds into this game. Romju with the long outlet to Adam Creason between the circles. Has the ball. Pass over to Nathan Smith. Smith tried to fake through a double team. Long pass to Creason. Creason's going to drive in. Bodies up. Passes over now to Romju and to Braxton Fowler. They're going to reset the offense a minute into the game. Mason Romju at the free throw line extended on the far side now between the circles over to Smith on this side. Now Fowler has the ball. Back now to, to Romju and over to Nathan Smith for three. Bang! Nathan Smith with the three-pointer. And the Bison lead. Turpin has scored three to nothing. First basket coming a minute 13 into the ball game. Bailey Boyd bringing it across the timeline. Crossover dribble now. Passes over to Caden Moses. Moses dribble between the leg. Pass over to Resendez. Resendez being guarded by Nathan Smith. Calls for the screen, doesn't get it. Layup over Jaden uh, Hall is good. So Aaron Resendez with his first basket. Each team has now scored a basket, and it's 3-2 to two favor Balco. 6-17 to go here in the first quarter. Nathan Smith now with the ball at the free throw line, extended on the, on the near side over to Fowler. Fowler thought about the jumper, opted not to take it. Dribbles around now, passes over to Romju. Romju over to Nathan Smith on the far side. Long three for Smith. Off the back iron, no good. Rebound loose, picked up by Boyd. And the Cardinals went to run the other way. Boyd gets Hall up in the air, but does not take the shot. Pass over to Moses. Moses crossover dribbles. Knocked away and stolen by Braxton Fowler. Numbers for Balco if they hurry. Jaden Hall ahead of everyone. Shots off the glass. Hard. No good. Rebounded by Braxton Fowler. Put back is good. Put back by Braxton Fowler. And it's 5-2. Favor Balco. 5.38 to go here in the first quarter. Aaron Resendez brings it across the timeline on the near side. Being guarded by Nathan Smith. Crossover dribble. Loses control. Picks it back up. Over to, uh, over to Jackson Henley. Henley has the ball, still has the dribble. Utilizes a couple of screens, passes over to Parker. Parker driving in on Adam Creason. The shot's good. Bryson Parker with the basket, and it's 5-4 to four in favor of Balco. 5-15 to go here in the first quarter. Braxton Fowler walking it across the timeline. Passes over to Jaden Hall on the far side. Mason Romju, bounce pass down to Creason. Deflected out of bounds off of Turpin. It will be Balco basketball. And the Bison will inbound underneath their own basket with 5.07 to go here in the first quarter. 5-4 to four your score favor Balco. Romju to do the inbounding honors. Bounces over to Creason. Loses control. Ball's loose on the floor. We have a tie ball. Possession arrow favors Balco. It will be Bison basketball inbounding again on the baseline. Romju. Passes out to Smith. Smith wide open for three. Bang! That's two three-pointers for Nathan Smith in the early going. Six points for him, and it's a four-point lead for the Bison. Eight to four, three minutes into the first quarter. Crossover dribble passes over now to Resendez. Resendez has the ball driving in now on Smith. Dish is off to Parker. Now down to the corner to Boyd. Turnaround jumper for Parker is good. Correction, Caden Moses. That's good for Caden Moses. He's the third Cardinal player to score already in the early going, and it's 8-6 favor Balco. Bison with the basketball. Romju has the ball on the near side. Cross-court pass to Fowler through a double team. Has the dribble, passes back now between the circles. Nathan Smith, they're going to reset the offense. Smith over to Romju, Romju over to Creason. Creason holds the ball, still has the dribble, and he takes it. Driving in now through a double team, loses control, and we have a foul on Turpin. There'll be Aaron Resendez, his first personal foul, first team foul. It will be Valco basketball inbounding underneath the basket. 4.17 to go here in the first quarter. 8-6 your score. The amount of Braxton Fowler for three. Bang! Three-pointer for Braxton Fowler. That's five for Fowler. And it's 11-6 favor Valco. Into the front court is Bailey Boyd. Has the ball crossing over Jaden Hall. Hall reaches in, does not get it. Passes deflected and stolen. Adam Creason coming back the other way. Long outlet to Mason Romju. Head of everyone. Loses control of the ball on his hip. Coming quickly back the other way, the Cardinals want to race. They have numbers if they hurry. Driving in is Jackson Henley. Long jumper is off the side of the iron. No good. Rebounded by 
Adam Creason, and Balco's going to slow it down coming the other way. Good call <laughs> by the Bison. Don't let it get too frenetic and don't get too worn out in the early going of this one. Mason Romju on the far side has it. Bounce pass over to Braxton Fallow on the far side. Now down to, to Jaden Hall on the block. Pass it back out to Smith. Smith for three. Off the back iron, no good. Rebounded by Boyd. Loses control. Picked up by the Hall, and he's fouled on the shot. Foul's going to be on Bailey Boyd. That'll be his first personal foul, second team foul. And at the line for the Bison will be Jaden Hall to shoot two. Hall had nine points in their game the other day against um, Turpin's JV squad. Set to come into the game for the Bison is Nathan Cardwell. First free throw is off the back iron, no good. Into the game for Balco is Nathan Cardwell, replacing Mason Romju. And into the game for Turpin will be Nash Levins, replacing Jackson Henley. Second free throw for Jaden Hall on the way, or oh, uh, forthcoming rather. Hall is 0 for 7 on the season from the foul line. Second free throw is off the front iron, no good, and he's now 0 for 8 on the season. And it's still a five-point lead for Balco, 11 to 6, 3.20 to go here in the first quarter. Walking the ball across the timeline is Aaron Resendez. Driving in now, passes over to Boyd on the far side, has the ball being guarded loosely by Jaden Hall. Over to Parker, Parker driving in into the double team, and we have a tie ball. Possession hero favors Turpin. I didn't see anything that resembled a tie ball, but I guess if the official calls it, that's what it is. But I, I sure didn't see it. But it will be Turpin basketball inbounding on the near side. Ball is deflected by Fowler. Caden Moses with the 12-foot jumper off the front iron, no good. Rebounded out of bounds off of Braxton Fowler. It will remain with Turpin. Three minutes exactly to go here in the first quarter. 11-6 to six your score. Long outlet goes to Boyd, who has it between the circles. Being guarded loosely by Hall. He still has his dribble, and he'll take it. Passes over to Resendez. Resendez being guarded loosely by Nathan Cardwell. Goes over a screen set by Boyd. Driving in now is Resendez through a double team. Passes over three-pointer from Moses. Is off the back iron, no good. Rebounded by Jaden Hall. Long outlet to, Adam, to uh, Nathan Smith was too long and has stolen coming back the other way. Balco back defensively because they never got up offensively. <laughs> long three-pointer is off the back iron, no good. Rebounded by Jaden Hall. That shot was by, Brax, by Bryson Parker. That was about a 28-foot jumper that was short. And you know that's not the shot that Coach Biebermeyer was looking for in that situation. Cardwell has the ball between the circles and we have a traveling violation. Looked like he kind of hesitation stepped and then stepped again, which is against the rules, I believe. Stepping into the game is Mason Romji replacing Jaden Hall. He's going to take a quick blow. Resendez will inbound to Boyd in the backcourt. 2.13 to go here in the quarter. A lot of action in the early going of this one. Resendez now has the ball between the circles, driving in on Cardwell down at the block. Pass over now, the 10-foot jumper is off the iron, no good, rebound, out of bounds, and stolen, put back is good. Basket good by Bryson Parker, that's four points for Parker, and it's a three-point lead now for the Bison, 11 to eight, under two to go here in the first quarter. Fowler utilizing the wrong juice screen, pass is deflected, picked up by Fowler eventually. Pass over to Creason, Creason wide open for three, off the iron, no good, rebounded by Mason Romju, put back, is off the iron, no good. Resendez was able to mess with the shot just enough to where it made Creason uncomfortable, and it will be Turpin basketball with a chance to, to tie the game or at least bring it down to one. Parker's 10-foot jumper misses everything, no good, rebounded by Creason. Foul is going to be on Bryson Parker. That'll be Parker's first personal foul, second team foul. Jaden Hall back in the game, replacing Adam Creason. Coming into the game for the Cardinals will be Carson Peters. And Peters is replacing Bryson Parker. Parker has been an absolute spark plug for Turpin in the early going of this one. 119 to go here in the quarter. 11-9, your score favor, Balco. Uh, clock still says 119. They're not running the clock. There we go. Fowler throws it back to Romju. Bounce pass again to Fowler. Balco's going to reset the offense. Minute 10 to go here in the quarter. Crossover dribble now driving in. This is back to Hall. who was wide open, opted not to take the shot. Ball is knocked away, but picked back up by Nathan Smith. A minute to go in the quarter. Lose control of it, and we have a carrying violation. <laughs> Fans from the top row hoping the officials do their job. 59.8 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Aaron Resendez will walk it across the timeline on the near side. Behind the back dribble, driving in on Cardwell. Nice pass. 
Excellent, oh, excellent ball move for the Cardinals. Shot is blocked by Romju, but offensive rebound, we have a foul on the shot. Foul is going to be on Mason Romju. That will be his first personal foul, first team foul. Stepping into the game for Balco will be Adam Creason replacing Nathan Smith. Turpin inbound underneath their own basket. And I don't this I don't understand. If they called a foul, then it should have been on the shot. Either there was no foul or it was on the shot. Three-point shot is off the back iron. No good. Rebound loose. Picked up by Jaden Hall. Knocked away and stolen. Coming back the other way. Turpin with numbers immediately. Knocked away again. Mason Romju has it now over to Adam Creason. And this is kind of the frenetic pace that we were worried about in the early going. It's almost too fast to be played under control by both sides. Mason Romju with the ball over to Nathan Cardwell. Over to Fowler. Fowler now down to Hall on the block. Over to Romju. Back to Fowler. And Balco's going to reset the offense with 20 seconds to go here in the quarter. Mason Romju at the free throw line extended. Bass is now over to Crease and Crease and driving in from the free throw line. Left hand shot is off the glass. No good. Rebounded by Boyd. And we have a reaching foul on Jaden Hall. That'll be Hall's first personal foul. Second team foul. Coming into the game for Turpin will be Bryson Parker. Replacing Jackson Henley, and Turpin will have 8.1 seconds here in the quarter. Resendez to do the inbounding honors for the Cardinals. Does so to Boyd, who picks it up near midcourt and passes over to Resendez. Resendez with five seconds driving in on Creason, driving all the way and splits the double team off the glass and good. Aaron Resendez with a nice move, and that's the end of the first quarter with the score. Balco 11, Turpin 10. We're going to take a quick break. We'll come back with second quarter action from the 2021 Beaver River Invitational. Balco by the basketball will continue in just a moment. Welcome back to Duster Arena here in Beaver, Oklahoma, where the Balco Bison lead the Turpin Cardinals by a score of 11 to 10 in a very fast-paced first quarter. Balco will have the ball to start the second quarter. Mason Romju to do the inbounding honors. Excuse me. No, Nathan Smith to do the inbounding honors on the far side. Once he gets the ball in hand. Inbound into the backcourt goes to Nathan Cardwell. Cardwell heavily guarded by Carson Peters. Now down to Hall on the block. Turn around, jumpers off the glass and good. Basket good by Jaden Hall, his first points of the game. It's a three-point lead for Balco at 13 to 10. Into the front court is Resendez. Passes over to Boyd. Boyd going to drive in. Passes over to Nash Levins. Now back over to Parker. Parker over to Boyd between the circles. And Turpin will reset. Parker now with the ball holding it high above his head. Down to Levins. Levins thought about the three. Opted not to take it. Passes back now. And then they're playing around the horn. Over now on the far side is Carson Peters. Now back between the circles is Boyd. Has the ball being guarded by Hall. Wide open. Levins for three. Is off the iron. No good. Rebounded by Nathan Smith. Balco looking to come back the other way, and they're going to do so slowly. 7.08 to go in the first half. 13 to 10. Your score favorite Balco. Nathan Smith with the ball. Crosses over. Passing now to Romju. Romju's bounce pass to Crease and is deflected out of bounds off of Resendez, and it will be Balco basketball, Bison to inbound in front of their own bench. Subbing into the game for Turpin will be Jackson Henley. Replacing Bryson Parker. Romju looking to inbound, does so to Cardwell on the near side, utilizes the hall screen. Cardwell for three, misses everything out of bounds. Rebounded by, or it didn't go out of bounds rather, it was saved. But rebounded by Resendez, and he's going to come back the other way. Top of the key now to the free throw line extended on the near side. Bailey Boyd has the ball now back between the circles again. Carson Peters driving in. Over to Nash Levins. Levins has the ball crossover dribble over to Peters again. Bounce pass back to Levins. Back to Boyd and now down to the free throw line. Jackson Henley has the ball spinning around passing over to Peters. Peters now down to Henley. Back to Peters again. Over to Boyd now between the circles. And Turpin's going to reset the offense. 6.25 to go here in the second quarter. Crossover dribble being guarded. Deflected by Smith. But retained by Turpin. Now down to Levins on the, in the corner. Back to 
Peters, Peters with the ball, bounce pass to the block, knocked away again. We have a foul on Adam Creason. For Creason, that'll be his first personal foul, third team foul. It'll be Turpin basketball inbounding underneath their own basket. 6.14 to go here in the first half. Nathan Cardwell just ran off the floor, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Hopefully he's okay. Peters with the ball now, passes to Boyd between the circles, and Turpin will reset the offense. Pass to Resendez. Over to Peters for three, excuse me, two. Yeah, over to Peters for three. Offensive rebound off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Jaden Hall. And back will come back the other way. Couple of good looks for the Cardinals. They just weren't able to convert on those. Back on now has it come back the other way. It's been a while since either team has hit a basket. Nathan Smith with the ball now over to Romju between the circles. Over to Fowler on the far side. Has a dribble pass. It's deflected away and stolen. Coming back the other way is Carson Peters. And it's deflected. Saved. Not saved, rather. Braxton Fowler goes out of bounds and apparently got an extra shove while he was out of bounds. <laughs> he got up complaining. So it'll be Resendez to inbound on the baseline. Long outlet goes to Parker, who has the ball being guarded by Smith, over to Boyd. Boyd with the ball being guarded by Fowler, now down to the elbow. Caden Moses with the ball, pass back to Resendez, back to Moses again, now to the near side. Jackson Henley has the ball down to the block. Resendez, over three-point shot, is off the back iron, no good. Rebound by Resendez. Turpin going back up. Ball loose on the floor, all sorts of contact. Ball out of bounds off of Balco. It will be Turpin basketball with 5-12 remaining here in the first half. Man, they're letting him play. There's all sorts of contact. Caden Moses with the ball being guarded by Fowler. Over to Parker. Parker has the ball, crossover dribble, reach in foul committed by Nathan Smith. For Smith, that'll be his first personal foul, fourth team foul. It will be Turpin basketball on the far sideline. 5.02 to go here in the first half. 13 to 10, your score, favor Balco. Inbound goes to, Mace, uh, to, um, to Bailey Boyd. Looking at the wrong roster. I was like, wait, <laughs> Mason Romji doesn't play for Turpin. Resendez with the ball. Faking the three-point shot and driving in is Caden Moses. Shot off the front iron, no good, rebounded. In the corner by Nathan Smith, pass over to Braxton Fowler, and Balco's going to come back the other way now. 4.40 to go here in the first half. 13 to 10, your score, favor Balco. Getting instruction from Coach Regeer, and, and Coach Regeer calling the offense from the sideline. Four and a half to go here in the first half. Braxton Fowler with the crossover dribble. Utilizing the hall screen, bounce pass to Creason, is knocked away. Off of Turpin and out of bounds. I think Creason thought it may have been off of him. So Balco to inbound from the baseline nearest the Turpin bench. Bounce pass off the back of Boyd and out of bounds, and it will be Balco basketball. I don't think that was the desired result of that inbound. <laughs> you don't generally draw them up that way. Inbound to Jaden Hall on the block. Shot is deflected. Ball loose on the floor, picked up by Creason, put back is good. Adam Creason with the basket, his first points of the game. Five point lead now for Balco, 15 to 10. 4 10 to go here in the first half. Resendez with the ball being guarded by Nathan Smith. Double team comes and passes deflected. Over to, to Moses. Moses with the pass now. Boyd with the ball driving and splitting. A double team ball is deflected. Loose on the floor, still loose on the floor. Tie ball, possession arrow favors Turpin. And at the halfway point of the second quarter, it will be Turpin basketball with the Bison leading by a score of 15 to 10. Long outlet goes all the way into the backcourt, which is okay because nobody touched it. It'll be Turpin basketball driving in. Now we have a reach-in foul on Braxton Fowler, I believe. It looked like Fowler reached in. Yeah, foul is on Braxton Fowler. That'll be his first personal foul, fifth team foul. It'll be Turpin basketball inbounding underneath their own basket. Outlet goes to Caden Moses. Pass is deflected, and a foul on Adam Creason. For Creason, that'll be his second personal foul, 16 foul. It will be Turpin basketball. Subbing into the game for the Cardinals is Nash Levins, replacing Caden Moses. Turpin to inbound once again, and Turpin will be shooting free throws for the rest of the half after this. Long outlet goes to Boyd. 
who sends it back to Resendez at the free throw line extended. He still has the ball. Driving in on Creason. The shot is off the side of the glass. No good. Rebounded by Adam Creason. Looking to outlet does so to Braxton Fowler. 3.40 to go here in the first half. 15 to 10, your score. Favor the Bison. Fowler calls the play. Bounce pass over to Nathan Smith. Over to Jaden Hall now. Hall has the ball. Passing over to Romju. Romju dribbles it in. Passes over to Adam Creason. Creason for three, bang! Three point pass be good for Adam Creason, that's five for him, and the lead now up to eight at 18 to 10, 3.15 to go here in the third quarter, and very quietly the Bison have built an eight point lead. Boyd with the ball, reverses course, passes over to Levins, Levins back to Boyd between the circles, and Turpin looking to reset the offense. Aaron Resendez now has the ball holding it at his hip. Passes out of a double team over to Moses. Moses holds the ball, high, or correction, to Levins. Levins holding the ball above his head and now takes a dribble. Passing through a double team. Nice shot. Pass. The Jackson Henley was blocked. Coming back the other way now for the Bison is uh, Braxton Fowler. Splitting the double team. Loses control out of bounds. And it will be Turpin basketball. 2.41 to go here in the first half. 18 to 10 the score favor Balco. Bailey Boyd inbounding to Aaron Resendez. And he'll come across the timeline on the near side. 2.36 to go here in the quarter. Resendez down to the block. Nice pass. Turnaround jumper over. Hall is no good off the, off the iron. Rebounded by Nathan Smith. That was an excellent possession for Turpin. They just weren't able to execute because, man, that was nice. Braxton Fowler is going to slowly walk it across midcourt. On the Chipmunk logo. Passing over to... <laughs> To Creason, Creason now down to the block, Hall goes up, shots off the glass, no good, gets his own rebound, put up is also no good. Rebounded by Boyd, and Turpin's gonna come back the other way. Two minutes to go here in the half, 18 to 10, favor Balco. Into the front court, Bryson Parker has the ball. Passes over to Resendez, Resendez wide open, three pointers off the iron, no good, rebounded by Braxton Fowler. Fowler looking to outlet, can't, and so he'll take it himself. A minute 47 to go here in the first half. Bison leading by eight. Bounce pass over to Nathan Smith on the far side, holding the ball above his head. Pass over to Romju between the circles now. Takes his dribble, takes one dribble, hands it off to Fowler. Fowler's going to drive in now through the entire defense off of Creason's face, coming back the other way. It's a fast break opportunity for Turpin. He's going to drive in. Shot is no good. Rebounded by Turpin, coming back the other way. Resendez, spin move around Creason off the iron, no good. Rebounded by Balco, knocked away. Resendez has it back. Loose ball on the floor, out of bounds, off of Balco. It will be Turpin basketball. All kinds of action down on this end of the floor. <laughs> oh, they're going to say it was off of Turpin. I thought it was off of, I thought it was off of Balco. I may have been seeing Nathan Cardwell, who was at the scorer's table, ready to check in. It may have been what I saw on that. Of course, the officials have a better view of it than I do. A minute eight to go here in the half. 18 to 10, your score favor, Balco. Romju with the ball on the far side, now handing it off to Smith. Smith's going to drive in through the double team. Pass is too tall for Cardwell, out of bounds. And it will be Balco, or excuse me, Turpin basketball with exactly one minute to go in the half. 18 to 10, the score. Caden Moses inbounds to Aaron Resendez. And Resendez is going to jog it slowly across the timeline on the near side. Pass over to Parker. Parker for three off the iron, no good. Offensive rebound, put back is good by Caden Moses. That's four points for Moses. He's the third Cardinal player with four points. And it's 18 to 12 now. Favor the Bison with 38 seconds to go in the half. Fowler dribbling on the near sideline across the timeline. Now between the circles over to Jaden Hall. Hall content to kind of play the distance game right now. Cardwell with it to free throw line extended. Now back to Fowler. And Balco's going to reset the offense. Fowler calling for an ISO. 18 seconds to go here in the half. Coach Regeer shouting instructions, not that you could hear him anyway. The gym's actually pretty live for as few people as are here. Between the legs dribble for Fowler, does it again. Utilizing the hall screen, Fowler for three, in and out, no good. Rebound loose, pick up by Romju, put back is blocked. Come back the other way, two seconds, one second, ball is deflected. And that's the end of the first half of the score. Balco 18, Turpin 12. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back. We're going to have the first half recap and the keys to victory for the second half for both Balco and Turpin. Balco Bison basketball will continue in just a moment.
certainly could have scored only two points in that quarter. Oh, yeah. I thought they had a lot more than that. Oh, yeah, they had a lot more. They, they missed a lot of buckets, too. I know, they left, they, a lot of, they left a lot of points on the floor. We left a few, too. I mean, yeah, but they left a lot of those three. It's, 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 well, not even in the same side, but like, I mean, intermixed. <laughs> yeah, people talk to each other, one of them will jump up. <laughs> Two minutes later, the other one will jump up. <laughs> So I got the I got the first three halves to get the win. I'm good. 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 I'm not that kind of guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that kind of guy. Yeah, you are, Paul. You're you are that guy. kind of guy. Me? You are that kind of guy. It's a common thing. Welcome back to Duster Arena here in Beaver, Oklahoma, where the Balco Bison lead the Turpin Cardinals at halftime by a score of 18 to 12 for the Turpin Cardinals. They have three players that have scored. All of them have four points. You have Caden Moses with four, Bryson Parker with four, and Aaron Resendez with four. For the Balco Bison, they're being paced by Nathan Smith with six points. He had two early three-point shots, five for Braxton Fowler and Adam Creason, and then two for Jaden Hall. And that's the sum total of the offense for both sides. Not a whole lot on the offensive end in this game. And a fairly clean game. Balco only had five team fouls in the first half. Four for Turpin. The only player with more than one for either team is Adam Creason with two. So, you know, this is the kind of game that we thought would need to happen. Both teams were going to want to press defensively. And the defenses for both teams have been impressive. Now, both teams have also left quite a few points on the floor. And, or, yeah, yeah, both offenses have left quite a few points on the floor as well. Some wide open layups that were missed by both teams. Some wide open jumpers that were missed by both teams. So, we'll see what the second half holds. Coach Regeer's got to be fairly pleased with what he's seen so far out of his boys, though. Reminder that the winner of this game will face Goodwell tomorrow in the championship game at 7.20. The loser of today's matchup will face Beaver at 4.40 in the bronze medal matchup. We're going to take another quick break. When we come back, we'll have the start of second half action from, uh, from Duster Arena here in Beaver, Oklahoma. Baco Bison basketball will continue in just a moment.
Welcome back to Duster Gymnasium. It is time for the second half here from Beaver, Oklahoma, where the Bacco Bison lead the Turpin Cardinals by a score of 18 to 12. We have a, uh, a correction to make in the roster. Number 15 is Aldo Espino for Turpin. Into the front court, Braxton Fowler has it as the Bison get the ball in the first half. Adam Creason down on the block, has the ball. Spin move off the glasses, in and out, no good. Rebound loose, picked up by the Cardinals. Come back the other way is Jackson Henley, now pass out to Resendez, Resendez in the front court, bounce pass all the way down to the block, is off the glass, no good. And it's going to be a foul on Caden Moses. That'll be Moses' first personal foul, first team foul. And that was a situation where he missed the, he missed the layup and then let frustration take over and committed the foul, making it worse. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Braxton Fowler walking the ball across the timeline as I'm trying to steal money from, from my cameraman, Mr. Paul Caldwell. Fowler with the crossover dribble now, driving into the paint. He's double teamed out there, and he's going to bring it back out. Bounce pass to Adam Creason, who holds the ball high above his head, still has his dribble. We have a traveling violation. He switched his pivot foot. A lot of questions, but he did. He, he had his right foot, and then he switched to his left. That, that, that's a call. So it'll be Turpin basketball inbounding in front of the Bison bench into the front court very quickly. Now Aldo Espino has the ball pass back to Resendez. Resendez over to Parker. Parker for three, and that basket is good. Seven points for Bryson Parker, and that makes him the top scorer in the game for both teams. 18 to 15, the score favor Balco a minute into the third quarter. Bounce pass to Adam Creason at the elbow, down to uh, Jaden Hall, shot off the glass is good. Jaden Hall with the, with, the, with the shot from the block, and it's a five point lead again for Balco, 20 to 15, four points for Hall. Hall deflects the ball, Espino picks it back up. Reverses course now over to Moses. Moses now down to Henley. Henley has the ball back and creasing down. Now back to the top of the key. Espino for three. Off the front iron. No good. Ball is loose. Tie ball. Possession arrow is going to favor Turpin. And it will stay down here. 6.31 to go here in the third quarter. 20 to 15 your score. Favor Balco. Inbound goes to Moses on the near side. Deflected out of bounds. Off of Romju. And it will be Balco. Or excuse me. Will, will remain Turpin basketball. Couple seconds run off the clock, and Turpin's going to reset. Long outlet goes to Aldo Espino. Between the circles, now over to Resendez at the free throw line extended on the near side. Being guarded by Braxton Fowler, crossover dribble. Crosses over again, driving in, now ball's knocked away and stolen. Fast break opportunity for Balco. Turpin back quickly, and we have a foul on the shot. Foul's going to be on Caden Moses. That'll be his second personal foul, second team foul. And at the line for Balco will be Mason Romju to shoot two. Romju got a little bit out of control, and he's smiling because he knows he got away with it on that one. When that body is no longer vertical and starts being more horizontal, you know you've got an issue. First free throw is off the front iron, no good. Very flat free throw for Mason Romju. The senior looking for his first point of the game. Second free throw forthcoming is on the way off the back iron, no good. Rebound loose, picked up by... Caden Moses. Outlet goes to Resendez, who brings it across the timeline now over to Espino on the near side, being guarded by Hall. Hall getting a little more aggressive on the defensive end, reaches in, knocks it into the backcourt. Deflects it again and steals it. One on one between Hall and Espino, shots off the glass, no good, but a foul on Aldo Espino. That'll be Espino's second personal foul, third team foul, and Jaden Hall will be at the line to shoot two. Hall with four points so far in the game, 0 for 2 from the free throw line. First free throw from Hall is on the way and good. 
Second free throw for Jaden Hall, fourth coming. It is up, off the back iron, no good. Rebounded by Aldo Espino, and Turpin's gonna come back the other way. Bison leading by six, 21 to 15. Ties their largest lead of the game. Resendez dishes off to Parker. Parker, nice crossover move. Shot is off the glass, no good. Rebound, also no good. Man, a couple of point blank shots with not very good defense. They had an opportunity to convert on both of those and Bryson Parker just couldn't convert either one. Over to Romju, bounce pass to Hall on the block to Adam Creason in the paint, has the ball, lose control, picks it back up off the glass, good. Nice recovery for Adam Creason there, Creason with seven points. Tying him game, tie, game high honors with Bryson Parker and the Bison now have their largest lead of the game at eight, 23 to 15. 5.15 to go here in the third quarter. Parker reverses to Resendez, uh, down to Moses on the block, turnaround jumper is no good, rebounded by Mason Romju. Hands it off to Creason, who hands it to Fowler. Balco is going to slowly bring it back the other way. Three minutes into the, to the second half, Balco with an eight-point lead and looking to build. Fowler thought about a bounce pass, opted not to take it, does so instead to Fowler over to Creason at the free throw line. Sweeping move, passes over to Fowler again on the wing, now driving in. Thinks better of it, brings it back out, and Balco's going to reset the offense. 4.45 to go here in the third quarter. Utilizing the Creason screen, driving in. High dribble. Misses the layup, no good, coming back the other way are the Cardinals, they have numbers if they hurry. Resendez driving in on Hall, shot around Hall, is off the iron, no good, rebounded by Jaden Hall. Pass is deflected by Resendez, but picked up by Fowler. Balker is gonna slow it down just a little bit. Had the opportunity to visit with Turpin's play-by-play -play voice at halftime, and he said the exact same thing I did. Too much action for not enough result. It was very frenetic, very busy. Creason holds the ball high above his head at the free throw line, double team, it's gonna drive in, shots off the glass, no good. They're going to say he was fouled on the floor. Foul's going to be on Jackson Henley, his first personal foul, fourth team foul, and it will be Balco basketball inbounding onto the baseline, or on the baseline, not under it. Nash Levins checking into the game for Turpin, replacing Jackson Henley. It'll be Balco basketball from the baseline. Fowler looking to inbound. Does so to Creason, cutting in. We have a traveling violation. He drug that pivot foot again. That's the second time that he's done that under the, under the basket, and it's hard, hard to hide those because all the refs are looking at it. Resendez into the front court, passes over to Parker. Parker's driving in, pulls it back out now. Nash Levins thought about the long three. He's gonna drive in on Creason instead, pass over to Espino. Espino driving in, foul line jumpers blocked by Hall. Tie ball, possession arrow favors Balco, will be Bison basketball. Feel like they blew the whistle a little bit too quick on that one. I think I think Turpin had a clean shot at the ball on that, but they blew it tie, and so it'll be Balco basketball. Both teams look exhausted, and there's still a quarter and a half left to play. Nathan Smith with the ball, holding it above his head, passes over to Romju. Romju lobs it down to Creason in the on the floor, and he traveled. He caught it standing up and he fell down. So that's a third travel on Adam Creason in the paint. Three and a half minutes to go here in the third quarter. 23 to 15 the score, favor Balco. Into the front court. Caden Moses thought about the three over Creason, opted not to, pass out to Espino. Now back, long three for Moses is good. That's seven points now for Caden Moses. It's a five-point lead. Timeout Turpin. It's a 30-second timeout, so we'll go ahead and keep it here. 23 to 18, the score favor Balco. Three players have scored for Turpin. Four players have scored for Balco. So there hadn't been a whole lot of offensive spread in this one. I feel, like, I feel like if there's a point of concern for Balco at this point, it's that Turpin is starting to hit some of these distant shots that they're taking. And I feel like that may be an area of concern for the Bison, is if their perimeter defense is breaking down and Turpin starts to get hot from the outside, they can score. As we've seen, they can score bunches of points in a hurry. 
Braxton Fowler will bring it across the timeline. He's met there by Aaron Resendez. Bounce pass to the corner. Mason Romju has the ball being guarded by Levins. Down to Hall on the block. Hall off the glass and good. Nice aggressive move by Jaden Hall. That's seven points for him. And it's back to a seven point lead for Balco, 25 to 18. 248 to go here in the third quarter. Parker with the crossover dual pass over to Resendez. Resendez for three. Off the iron, no good. Rebounded by Jaden Hall. Hall bounce pass to Nathan Smith, who brings it across the front court. He's going to wait for the rest of the offense to get their pass over to Adam Creason. Creason backing him down. Off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Moses. Coming back the other way now are the Cardinals. Moses over to Espino on the far side, being guarded by Hall. Long cross court pass to Resendez on the near side. Now down to the free throw line, driving in is Moses. He stopped, passes back out. Three pointer is off the front iron, no good. Rebounded by Moses. Shots blocked, and we have a foul. That was going to be on Mason Romju. That'll be his second personal foul. First team foul of the half, but it was on the shot. So at the line for Turpin will be Caden Moses. Moses with seven points so far. Moses' first free throw is off the back iron, no good. Checking into the game for Turpin will be Jackson Henley replacing Aldo Espino. Nathan Cardwell coming in for Balco replacing Nathan Smith. Thank goodness I don't have to deal with multiple Nathans on the court at the same time. Moses set for a second free throw. It's off the back iron. Also no good. Rebound loose, and we have a foul on Jaden Hall. Hall went over the back. So that'll be Hall's second personal foul, second team foul, and it will be Turpin basketball inbounding under the basket. 2.15 to go here in the third quarter. 25-18 to 18 to score favor Balco. Outlet goes to Moses. Back to Resendez in the corner. Back to Moses again, being guarded by Nathan Cardwell. Over to Resendez. He's going to drive in. Cross-court pass over to Levins for three. Off the iron, no good. Rebounded by Mason Romju. Dishes off to Braxton Fowler. And Balco's going to control the offense. Under two to play here in the third quarter. Bison leading by seven. Pass over to Mason Romju. Now down to Creason at the elbow. Loses control of it, picks it back up. Driving in, shot is no good. Rebounded by Moses. Caden Moses got up and affected the shot. Now over to Levins. Levins thought about it, opted not to. Back to Moses, and we have a foul. Away from the ball on Adam Creason. And that's going to be three personal fouls for Adam Creason. Nathan Smith's going to come into the game replacing Creason. Creason's frustration was getting to him there just a little bit, and he committed a foul that he probably didn't need to commit because of the, the action that happened on the other end. 10-foot floater is good by Bryson Parker. Parker now with nine points to lead all scorers, and it's a five-point game, 25 to 20. Favor Balco, a minute 20 to go here in the third quarter. Braxton Fowler near the far sideline, crossover dribble, driving into the lane, loses control, picks it back up over to Cardwell. Cardwell for three, off the back iron, no good. Rebounded by Caden Moses. Moses has it, we have a reaching foul on Braxton Fowler. That's gonna be Fowler's second personal foul. And now the foul's really starting to rack up for Balco. Four team fouls. Coming into the game for Turpin will be Aldo Espino replacing Jackson Henley. A minute five to go here in the third quarter. 25 to 20 to score. Favor Balco. Crossover dribble driving in. Hall comes to help. Pass over to Espino, driving in on Hall. Dishes over now to the far side. Levins with the ball deflected. Pass down to Resendez, and we have a foul on Braxton Fowler. Fowler pushed him in the back. And that's going to be three personal fouls on Fowler. So now there's three on Creason and three on Fowler, and Balco's starting to experience some real foul trouble now. Five team fouls. 53 seconds left to go here in the quarter. Resendez looking to inbound, does so to Moses. Back to Resendez. Out to Levins at the three-point line. Back to Moses. We have a crossover dribble. Resendez with the ball, and Turpin's going to reset. 43 seconds left to go here in the quarter. Crossover dribble over to Espino on the far side of the free throw line extended, being guarded by Hall, utilizes the Resendez screen. Reach and foul on Jaden Hall, and that's going to be three fouls on Hall. 16 fouls, and all six fouls have been committed in the last 90 seconds. Turpin basketball, and Turpin will be shooting free throws for the rest of the game. Crossover dribble. Switches direction, driving in, bounce pass to Moses. Nice block by Nathan Cardwell. Coming back the other way. Braxton Fowler has the ball. He's going to walk it across the timeline. 23 seconds left to go in the quarter. 25 to 20 your score. Favor Balco. Fowler on the far sideline, getting instruction from Coach Regeer. 
trying to direct the offense. 12 seconds now, being guarded by Resendez, utilizing the hall screen. Thought about the, uh, the give and go was not there. Tried to be. Romju with the ball now to Fowler. Four seconds, three seconds. Lobbed the hall on the block. Shot is up off the glass. And good at the buzzer. Basket good at the buzzer. Jaden Hall with nine points, and that's the end of the third quarter with the score. Balco 27, Turpin 20. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back with the third quarter recap and the conclusion of this ball game. Balco Bison basketball will continue in just a moment. Welcome back to Duster Arena here in Beaver, Oklahoma, where the Balco Bison lead the Turpin Cardinals by a score of 27 to 20 here at the start of the fourth quarter. Turpin being paced by Bryson Parker with nine points, seven for Caden Moses and four for Aaron Resendez. Balco being paced by Jaden Hall with nine points, seven for Adam Creason, six for Nathan Smith, and five for Braxton Fowler. It will be Turpin's ball to start the quarter. They'll be heading from left to right across your screen. Resendez a walk across the timeline being guarded by Braxton Fowler. Over to Parker. Parker's jumper is blocked by, by Nathan Cardwell. That's Cardwell's third block in the last minute of action. Braxton Fowler walks it across the timeline. Diagonally heading toward the near side. Braxton Fowler utilizing the hall screen, looking to get rid of it, does so, and it's stolen. Coming back the other way, it's going to be a fast break for Braxton Parker. The shot is off the glass and good. 11 points for Bryson Parker. He's the first player for either team in double figures. It's a five-point lead for Balco. Seven and a half to go in the ball game. 27-22. Balco's going to have to take Turpin's best shot right now because Turpin knows that these next three minutes are where this game is going to be won or lost. And they're very aware of this, so they're going to be extremely aggressive. Hall with the ball at the block, looking to get rid of it. Does so to Creason at the free throw line. Jumper off the back iron. No good. Rebounded by Henley. Turpin's going to come back the other way. One minute expired here in the fourth quarter. Five-point lead for Balco, 27-22. Winner of this game will play Goodwell tomorrow at 7-20. The loser will play Beaver at 4-40. Spin move, shot is blocked. No good, rebound. Picked up by Resendez. Tie ball, possession arrow favors Balco. It will be Bison basketball. Mason Romdu checking into the game for Balco, replacing Nathan Cardwell, who had a terrific stretch defensively for the Bison. Mason Romdu to inbound on the... Turpin baseline. Does so to Fowler, who's going to walk it across the timeline. Looking to coach Regeer for the offensive play. They're going to wait for the offense to set. Fowler being guarded loosely by Resendez. Calls for an isolation. Hall coming with the screen. Three-pointer for Fowler. Bang! That's good by Braxton Fowler. That's his second three-pointer. Fowler now with eight points in the lead up to 8.30 to 22, tying their largest lead of the game. Bryson Parker with the ball now for the Cardinals. Over to Nash Levins on the near side. Levins going around the screen. Shot is deflected. Knocked out of bounds off of Adam Kreese, and it will be Turpin basketball. I don't think either official had a clear view of it. it from here, it looked like it was off of Creason, but there was some discussion back and forth. It will be Turpin basketball inbounding underneath their own basket. 6.09 to go in the ballgame, 30-22. to 22. Long outlet goes to Espino, being guarded by Hall. Goes around Hall, goes around Creason, shots off the glass, and good. Aldo Espino with his first basket, and he is one of the ones that, that Turpin needs for him to get hot if they're going to come back and win this game. They need for Espino to produce offensively. Six-point lead for Balco, 30-24. to 24, Six minutes to go in the ballgame. Fowler with the ball being guarded by Espino over to Crease and holding the ball high above his head between the circles. Down the hall on the block, takes a dribble, spin move, uh, goes up, shot is blocked, but it's fouled. Foul's going to be on Aaron Resendez, his second personal foul, 15 foul, and Jaden Hall will be at the line to shoot two. Hall two of four from the line so far in today's game. Hall's first free throw is up off the back iron, no good.
Correction, Hall one of four, now Hall's one of five. Second free throw for Hall, fourth coming. Soft touch, good. So Hall converts one of two. He's in double figures now with 10 points to lead all Bison scores, and it's a seven-point lead for Balco. 31 to 24, 5.45 to go in the ball game. Espino with the ball being guarded by Hall, hands it off to Resendez. Switch defensively in now coming down. Back to, his, uh, back to Resendez. Three-pointer for Jackson Henley's off the iron, no good. Offensive rebound, Bryson Parker put back is no good, but he's fouled. I think that was on Romju. Yes, foul's going to be on Mason Romju. That'll be his third personal foul. So that's, that's now four Bison players with three fouls. You have Braxton Fowler with three, Hall with three, Romju with three, and Creason with three. At the line to shoot two, Braxton, Bryson Parker. First free throw is no good. Second one is on the way, and it's up and good. So Bryson Parker converts one of two. He now has 12 points to lead all scores. It's a six-point game for Balco at 31-25. Five and a half to go in the ballgame. Fowler brings it diagonally across the timeline toward the near side, utilizing the crease and screen. Give and go. Adam Creason layup is off the glass. No good. No good. Rebounded by Turpin coming back the other way. And Turpin with a chance now to close it to four or three. With an offensive foul on Jackson Henley, that'll be his second personal foul. Five team fouls will be a turnover, and it will be Balco basketball. So Nathan Smith now with the ball, bringing it diagonally across the timeline, being guarded very loosely by Bryson Parker. Utilizing the crease and screen, driving in, splits the double team, loses control, picks it back up. Reverse layup is no good, picked up by Adam Creason. Creason with the ball, spin move, and he traveled in the lane. That's, that's now like five or six. That's now like five or six traveling violations on Adam Creason. Aldo Espino with the ball. They leave him open. Hall comes and picks him up. Now over to Henley. Henley with the ball. Down to the block. Moses has the ball. Double teamed over there. Back to Henley. Henley back down to Moses again on the block. Turn around. Jumpers off the iron. No good. Rebounded by Nathan Smith. Jaden Hall with the ball. Does not want any part of it. Hands it off to Braxton Fowler. And Fowler's going to jog it across the timeline on the near side. In front of the bench. It's 420 to go in the ball game. Crossover dribble by Fowler. Between the legs. Now passes over to Jaden Hall. Hall over to... Nathan Smith, Smith's going to center the ball, and Balco's going to reset the offense. Nathan, or Adam Creason with the ball, holding it above his head, still with his dribble if he wants it. Directing traffic, leading Braxton Fowler, driving his shots off the bottom of the glass. No good, rebound, loose. Tie ball, possession arrow favors Turpin. It will be Cardinal basketball. 4.03 to go here in the fourth quarter. 31-25 to score favor Balco. And... Turpin with a chance to close it to a one possession game if they can hit a three pointer here. Moses with the ball, loses control, off the glass basket is good and a foul. <laughs> Foul's gonna be on Braxton Fowler and that's his fourth personal foul. So now Fowler's gotta be really careful. He has four personal fouls in this one. Basket was good by Caden Moses. So they counted the basket good. They're gonna say the basket was, they're gonna say the foul was on the floor, so no basket, take the points away from Moses. Man, I'm not sure about that. Okay, so the foul, the foul was on Fowler, but it was on the floor. Turpin's shooting one and one because they're in the bonus. So Caden Moses at the line shooting one and one. First free throw is up and good. So eight points now for Caden Moses. One more free throw forthcoming for the junior. 
and everyone in the everyone on the floor and in the stands is thoroughly confused at this point. Second free throw is no good, but offensive rebound. And Turpin now has a chance to close it to three or two with a basket here. Jackson Henley with the ball, passes all the way back to Parker near the timeline, driving in on a hall. Nice spin move, the floater is no good. Rebound loose, picked up by Adam Creason. Balco's gonna come back the other way, and they need a basket right now. Because right now, the momentum is starting to creep over to Turpin's sideline, and they've got to be able to convert, and the ball's stolen. Parker's coming back the other way. Bowers just gonna let him go. Basket for Parker is good. That's 14 points for Bryson Parker. Timeout on the floor. 3.27 to go in the ball game, 31 to 28 to score favor Balco. It's a three point game, full timeout. We'll take it with them. Balco Bison basketball will continue in just a moment. Welcome back to Duster Arena where Turpin has closed it to within a three point game at 31 to 28, 327 to go in the ball game. Full court press being employed by the Cardinals. Braxton Fowler has the ball. Turpin retreats into their half of the field, or their, their half of the court rather. Braxton Fowler brings it across the timeline on the near side being guarded by Aaron Resendez. Driving in, crossover dribble, pass over to Nathan Smith on the near side. Smith has the ball, lose control of it, gets it back. Feeds Creason down on the block. We have a foul on the block on Jackson Henley. That'll be Henley's third personal foul. So Adam Creason at the line to shoot the one and one. Seven points for the senior from Balco. Takes a couple dribbles, the front end is on the way. Off the front iron, no good, rebounded by Resendez. So an empty possession for Balco, and Turpin with a chance to tie. Pass is thrown away, and it will be Balco basketball. Turpin outscoring Balco so far, eight to three in the fourth quarter. Adam Creason with the ball, holding it above his head, still has his dribble if he wants it. Fakes the pass, passes over to Nathan Smith. Smith with the ball now, 2.45 to go in the ballgame. Jaden Hall now holding it high above his head. 3-2 zone being employed by Turpin. Braxton Fowler now with the ball in front of the Balco bench, being guarded loosely by Aaron Resendez. Utilizing the Hall screen, Fowler drives in, dishes out over to Smith. Smith down to Creason, Creason at the top of the key. Driving in, now shot off the glass, good, and he fouled! Basket good by Adam Creason. Oh, yeah. Foul is on. I think I missed who it's on. Foul is going to be on Jackson Henley. That'll be his fourth personal foul. So now each team with one player with four fouls. So the basket is good for Adam Creason. and the senior at the line to complete the three-point play. Free throws on the way, and it is good. Creason now in double figures with 10 points, and it's back to a six-point lead from Balco at 34-28, two and a half to go in the ballgame. Resenda is passing now over to Espino on the near side. Espino thought about the jumper, opted not to take it. Down to Moses on the block, he's double teamed out there. Espino wide open, three, off the back iron, no good, rebounded by Mason Rongeau off his hands out of bounds, and it will be Tur uh, Balco basketball. Balco basketball. So Mason Romju to inbound on the far sideline. Turpin employing a full court press. 2-11 to go in the ball game. Balco 34, Turpin 28. The winner of this game will face Goodwell tomorrow in the championship match at 7.20 p.m. And now they're gonna say it was off of Romju over to Turpin. And in case you didn't hear, the crowd got really loud. 
<laughs> on that one. So Moses to inbound. Does so in the near corner, on the far corner to Henley. Henley with the ball, being guarded loosely by Creason. Down to the block, ball's knocked away and stolen. Adam Creason has it. Two minutes to go in the ball game, 34 to 28. Nathan Smith, wide open, three-pointer. Misses everything, rebounded by Moses. Moses, ball's deflected out of bounds. And the referees are gonna confer. It looked like Romju deflected it out of bounds. He's arguing, and now the refs are gonna talk about it. Let's see if we can make fans equally mad the other way. <laughs> I don't think so. They're, they're, they're calling it Turpin basketball. And I think that's I think that was the right call. I think Romju did deflect it out of bounds. So Caden Moses having a seat. He's been very effective in the second half, and it is Balco basketball. Wow. Wow, this, this has been an unbelievable two-minute stretch. Timeout, Balco. Thirty-second timeout. I think we're going to take it with them because I've got to figure some stuff out. We'll be right back. Balco Bison basketball will continue in a moment. Welcome back to Duster Arena here in Media Row. We're trying to figure out what's going on. We got fans asking us. We have no idea. It's going to be Balco basketball. A minute 53 to go. Balco inbounding in front of their bench. Hall with the ball at the elbow. Hands it off to Romju. Romju bounce pass to Fowler. And Balco's going to reset. Being guarded very closely by Resendez. Good tough defense by Aaron Resendez. Utilizing the Hall screen. Over to Creason. Creason holding the ball. Takes a couple dribbles. He's going to drive in on Henley, shots up and good by Adam Creason. Creason with 12 points, and the lead is now up to eight at 36-28, tied for the largest lead of the game for either team. Driving in is Parker. Parker's three-pointer is off the iron, no good, rebounded by Adam Creason. Over to Braxton Fowler, and the coach is imploring Balco to slow it down, just bring it across the timeline, and then don't do anything dumb with it. A minute eight to go in the ball game. As we started to say earlier, the winner will face Goodwill in the championship match tomorrow at 7.20. The loser will face Beaver in the third place matchup at 4.40. Creason with the ball, driving in, now shot from the block is good. 14 points for Creason, tying in with game high honors, under a minute to play, and the Bison have their largest lead of the game at 10, 38 to 28. Resend is utilizing the screen. Now down to the block. Two Bison go up. We have a foul on the floor. Foul is going to be on Nathan Smith. That'll be Smith's second personal foul. Ninth team foul. When it doesn't matter, he was it was in the shot anyway. So Jackson Henley will be at the line to shoot two for Turpin. Henley yet to score for the Cardinals in a somewhat surprising game. Henley's first free throw is up and in. So the first point of the game for Jackson Henley. One more free throw forthcoming for the junior. And I apologize, it's, it's Hensley, not Henley. Second free throw is off the back iron. No good, rebounded by Jaden Hall. So Hensley goes one of two. 38 seconds left to go in the game. It's a nine point lead, 38 to 29. And Balco's just content, I think, to pass it around. Adam Creason with the ball. Out near the circle, loses it out of bounds, and it will be Turpin basketball. The one thing that you didn't want to have happen was a turnover. So it'll be Turpin basketball, and they're going to have to act quickly, but they are not out of this game just yet. Crossover dribble, Parker into the front court, being guarded by Romju. Thought about the three, opted not to. Parker again has it being guarded by Romju. Three-pointer, lose control of it. Ball's knocked away and stolen. Into the front court now is Mason Romju. Romju has it, and he's fouled in front of the Balco bench by Bryson Parker. There'll be Parker's second personal foul. Nine team fouls for Turpin, and at the line for Balco will be Mason Romju to shoot a one and one. Romju surprisingly yet to score in this game. Now would be a terrific opportunity for him to get a couple. 
10 seconds left, and I figure one will absolutely do it. First free throw is on the way. It's in and out. No good. Rebounded by Resendez. Turpin's got to go quick into the front court. Resendez over to Parker. Parker, three-pointer. Off the back iron, no good. Rebounded by Resendez. Resendez put back is no good. Out of bounds, and that's the ball game. With your final score, Balco 38, Turpin 29. Baco will be playing in a pair of championship games tomorrow right here at Duster Arena. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back with the post-game review. Baco Bison basketball continue in just a moment. Welcome back to Duster Arena here in Beaver, Oklahoma, where the Balco Bison have defeated the Turpin Cardinals by a score of 38 to 29. The Balco Bison won every quarter in this game. First one was 11 to 10, 7 to 2, 9 to 8, and 11 to 9. The Turpin Cardinals were um, were paced by Bryson uh, Bryson Parker, who had 14 points, eight points for Caden Moses, four for Aaron Resendez, two for Alu Espino, and one for Jackson Henley. For the Balco Bison, Adam Creason leading the way for the third straight game with 14 points, 10 for Jaden Hall, eight for Braxton Fowler, and six for Nathan Smith. So just four Bison players scoring in the game, but it proved to be enough. And so both the Balco Bison and Lady Bison basketball teams are going to have to definitely bring their A games tomorrow as they're both going to have a couple of very stout opponents. The Balco Lady Bison will be playing Turpin in the championship game, and then the Balco Bison are going to be playing Goodwill in the championship game. I knew it was one of the two. I just didn't want to get a mix-up, and we just played Turpin, so and that was it. All right, so once again, your final from Beaver Arena, Balco 38 Turpin 29, the third straight game that Balco's held their opponents to 29 points. So until next time, this is David Vaughn reminding you that no amount of success can compensate for failure in the home. Make sure that you let your family know each and every day just how much you love them. And until next time, take care and God bless.